You were part of this era of YouTube where Issa Rae was making The Misadventures of Awkward Black Girl. That turned into the HBO show Insecure. Yep. Um, Lena Dunham had been doing a lot of stuff on YouTube that uh, was always referenced every time, you know, Tiny Furniture, her first feature was talked about. So YouTube felt like this, like, we're going to get past the gatekeepers. Yeah. Were you conscious of that when you guys made Broad City? Because Broad City started as a YouTube series then went to... Um, went to television, were you conscious of that or were you just like, we just want a space to make our work? Well, I think um, we were ultimately, we were both on these teams and taking classes at the theater, trying to get on the stage. Yeah. And we sort of felt in hanging out and whenever we stepped out together, yeah. that that dynamic was so unique and yeah. kind of had legs to it. And we just made each other laugh so much that, and we could not get on these teams, like we Herald were auditioning. Yeah. yeah, we could just, and, and we were both auditioning for whatever, but hardly could get any auditions. And, uh, you know, Alana and I are both not your typical Hollywood yeah. look. Yeah. And, uh, you know, also at the UCB, I, I don't know now, but at the time there was like, if there's a team of, there's a team of eight people, one was a woman. Right. And so it was just happened that way somehow. Yeah. Uh, and so <laughs> don't, how did, it's so weird. It's always like that. And um, so we, we just, theaters, yeah. we had to, it is the world. Yeah. Uh, and so you just knew that there were this limited number yeah. of spots and we just couldn't, couldn't get on, couldn't get seen. Yeah. But the two of us were, I, we just kept being like, but we we know this is funny. Yeah. We know there's something here, even if we're just making it for us. Right. Even if we can take just the power back of creating a thing. Right. Away from whoever, like, lets you be on stage. And so once we sort of had that conversation, like, what if we made? Yeah. Like, we went to a pizza shop. And we're like, wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> what if we just make a thing? Yeah. And then it was like, we were off to the races. We were, yeah. like, we had all, got all these different collaborators from the community, people that wanted to direct, people that wanted yeah. to edit, other actors. And it was so small. We would mm. pay like little bars. I lived in Astoria in Queens and Alana lived in Park Slope. And we would pay little bars like $50 to shoot in their back little corner right. for like an hour, yeah. stealing stuff on the subway. And it just all of a sudden gave us control. Yeah. And the YouTube aspect part of it was like, this is... I'm so not tech savvy. <laughs> and this was before, like, I never considered myself a YouTuber. Yeah. And tr our web series, but tr like 2,500 people watched our web series. Right, right. Which is <laughs> not a lot at all. But it was something we could send our parents yeah. to prove that we were actually doing comedy. Yeah. And it was, w we thought it was really good. Yeah. Something in it was good and, and then we just believed in it and just kept making them. Yeah. And so we made 35 of them for like two years. And I don't even know what the question was. I'm just going. No, no, no. That was that was great. Just going with it. It was the era of YouTube. Yeah. You completely I talk, nailed talked it. about this in a while. I love yeah, it. Yeah. And it was so exciting because we would also do like these live shows at different venues, uh like 92 I Tribeca. Yeah. RIP, yeah. but we would do these live shows where we would screen episodes and I will never forget there was, I just was talking about this in the, in the League of Their Own Writers Room, this, this feeling, um, we, we were part of this little film, this short film festival called Iron Mule. Mm -hmm. And so funny, Hannibal Burris was like, it's just there too, mm -hmm. who was like an old friend of ours who ended up being in the web series and then in the, um, in the TV show. But we were just part of this shorts, this little shorts festival, but our a photo of us was in the New York Times, mm -hmm. and it was like this <laughs> teeny photo, and I will never forget taking the subway to work. Yeah, and I worked at a job next to Alana at the time. Yeah, at a place called Life Booker, <laughs> which we then used in the show and made that her job. Became, but I yeah. held the the New York Times as if everyone on the train knew. Yeah, <laughs> and I was like. Yeah. They were like, oh <laughs> it my is God, like a that teeny tiny, tiny yeah. photo of us on Houston wow. in front of a mural. And it was like just that feeling of mm -hmm. like anything is possible. Yeah. And it was very, yeah. it was a really big 
moment. Yeah. And no one had seen it. And it was just like, yeah. I don't know. I think that following the, that feeling, those yeah. little, I don't, I don't know where I'm going with that. But no, no, no. Yes, I am like the character, huh? <laughs>